what's up guys welcome back to the channel for yet another reaction video so in this one i'm going to be reacting to um dorothy most savage moment the golden girls from the golden girls yes guys so i hope you enjoy this one and have a lot of laugh with me while you're watching okay guys yes don't forget to do a press up the subscribe button to like and to comment down below let me know what you think about the video all right guys yes so let's go if i'd had the money i could have been living in a swinging condo instead of with i better not say anything till i've had my car <laughs> a slut and a moron oh wow i'm sorry it must be decaf <laughs> oh come on Ma. That superstitious nonsense. You know, step on a crack, break your mother's back. It doesn't work. I know. <laughs> I guess she tried. Uh, I tried. I think I can handle this relationship with Dirk. I'm going out with him Saturday night. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> Momentarily. This is strictly off the record, but Dirk's nearly five years younger than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Blanche. Dog years. <laughs> oh. Blanche Devereaux. Just a moment. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. What? Oh my God. Mm -mm. My rear tires have less pressure in them. <laughs> Screams! Yeah. What happened? No, no, nothing. Everything's fine, Blanche. We never should have watched Psycho. Oh. <laughs> For 25 years, I have avoided that picture. Even when Stan invited me to the Roxy instead of over to his mother's house for dinner. And it turned out that my instincts were right. Norman Bates is scarier than my mother-in-law. <laughs> and a much better dresser. Oh, oh, I no. never should have watched it either. It always upsets me, especially that shower scene. Oh. But it's the reason I prefer not to shower alone. <laughs> sure, Blanche. And Goldilocks and the Three Bears is why you prefer not to sleep alone. No. Honey, you all right? I'll be fine. Is this about Arnie? No, Blanche. She's upset because they keep changing the taste of Coke. <laughs> Mm. Oh, girls, I'm so sorry to be late. I ran out of gas on the way home. Mm. It was just horrible. Nobody would stop to help me. This could never have happened in the old South. What has become of chivalry when men used to open doors for you, pull out your chair, tip their hat, kiss your hand, <laughs> help you down out of your carriage, mm. leave calling cards and wow. silver salvers? Wow. So how far back do you want to go, Blanche? I mean, do you still want to be able to vote? <laughs> Move it. <laughs> no. We're going to miss our plane. What are we going to do? Listen, girls, I have an idea. Now, I'm going to create a diversion by bending over and picking up something seductively. Then the two of you sneak up behind him and give him a karate chop. Blanche, mm -hmm. what do we look like? Charlie's Angels? <laughs> I have been told I bear a striking resemblance to Miss Cheryl Ladd. <laughs> <laughs> Although my bosoms are perkier. <laughs> uh, uh. No, Not even if you were hanging upside down on a trapeze. Uh -uh. Wait, how it's many friends could a naive farmer's daughter possibly have had? Fifty-six. <laughs> what? Excuse me? I had about fifty-six boyfriends. Of course, what? that was before I knew Charlie. <laughs> I probably would have had what going on here? Did Rose say that? She had about 56 boyfriend. No, sir. Mm -mm. Them now clear. No, sir. <laughs> oh, but I wasn't allowed to start dating till I was a senior. 56. 56? Oh, God, stand back. She's going to blow. What do you mean you had 56 boyfriends? Six. You told me you were a virgin till you got married. Hey, you can have a boyfriend without having to go all the mm -hmm. way. You cannot. 
Mm. If that were true, Rose, yes, that would mean you were a slut. Oh, come on, Blanche, how can you say that? So the woman had 56 mm. boyfriends in one year. She's not a slut. Thank you, Doris. She is the slut. <laughs> She's the grand poop. One ear. I thought she is the easiest oh, like. woman in this room. <laughs> the grand poop. Get that back. No, the sir. slut is dead. Long live the slut. Nine, eight, nine pounds. I can't remember the last time I weighed nine. Probably college. Where'd you go to college, Blanche? The University of Jupiter. <laughs> Realize it's only two weeks till mm. Phyllis Strickland's Memorial Day beach party. That means it's only two weeks till we have to get back to our bathing suits again. Well, I just slipped into last year's bikini, and uh, I think I look pretty good. But you give me your honest advice. Can I still pull it off? Right now, I'd be surprised if you could cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they come look at these old pictures? I think yeah. I must have been about ten years old in this one. Big Daddy just taught me how to ride a horse. <laughs> You were quite a little porker back then, weren't you? I was a little chunky, that's all. Blanche, the horse's eyes are crossed. <laughs> <laughs> you were fat. Oh, no, the pressure. Every little girl goes through that ugly stage. Yeah, ugly, oh, yes, no. but this is ugly and fat. <laughs> Mm. Rose, why don't we just show Mr. Vaughn around the theater? Well, why don't I just do that myself? Since I've had the most no. experienced performance here. Blanche, the parking lot doesn't count. I'll do it. <laughs> We're probably looking for drugs. Oh. <laughs> we have Maalox and estrogen. I'll make it up to you, Dorothy, I promise. <laughs> Listen, if there's ever a night <laughs> where you can't sleep, I'll come to your room and sing Kumbaya. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> yes, I do. Don't ever do that. I just had a thought. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, oh, Dorothy, what do you mean sneaking up on me like that? You scared me half to death. No. I'm sorry, Rose. Next time I walk into a dark room in the middle of the night, I'll send a mariachi band ahead of me. <laughs> Mrs. Bornak? Mrs. Petrillo? Oh, good, you two are talking. <laughs> We're not talking. I'm still furious with Ma for hooking me up with that matchmaker. That reminds me of a story about St. Olaf's most famous oh, matchmaker. Oh, please, Rose. Spare me the endless inane details of how Heidi Flug and Dougal Gergenplatz successfully matched a bull with a duck. <laughs> and how their daughter was a bull duck who ran a small tattoo parlor in Congo. Dorothy, Sophia, I told the news director I was interested in the reporter's position, and guess what he did? Mm -hmm. A Danny Thomas spit take? <laughs> we have everything we need for the cruise. Girls, listen, maybe we don't have everything we need. But what are we missing? Well, we are going away for a romantic weekend to the Bahamas with Jeff and Rich and Randy. In this day and age, it might be a good idea to take along some protection. What kind of protection? <laughs> Two armed Pinkerton guards. <laughs> no, Blanche is talking about uh, a Nestle's crunch. <laughs> One over. An animal bag? To the right. Did you hmm. grip? Condoms, Rose. Condoms, condoms, condoms. <laughs> Whatever happened to her? She colonized no. life on Venus. <laughs> <laughs> She was 94 when I was six. She died, you idiot. <laughs> How did she die? <laughs> you know, we're not sure. <laughs> One night, she left in her wheelchair and she <laughs> never came. <laughs> the next day, the neighborhood kids had a go-kart with two really big fat <laughs> that is a happy woman in there. Now, I want you to mm -hmm. promise that you will not say anything. Do you promise? Mm -hmm. Do you promise? <laughs> Are you sure? But what's got me so sad? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I just... <laughs> I just 
Oh, you ready? Yes, I guess. Stop! Oh, Lord. Boy, life sure has a way of throwing you curveballs. When I was young, I never would have imagined that I'd be worrying about money at this stage of my life. I used to think Stan would take care of me. I mean, we didn't have much saved, but he was a darn good novelty salesman. Sounds naive now to think that I placed my hopes for the future on a bald pinhead with the morals of a maggot who made his living selling plastic dog do. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, at least I'm not bitter. <laughs> this is so my date. Your husband. Mm -hmm. I don't have a husband. Call the police. <laughs> really? Your ex-husband. I'll call the police. Pizza. Hi, everyone. It's me, Stan. Mm -hmm. Dorothy. In the future, I would appreciate a little advance <laughs> notice when you're expecting a gentleman. I realize this time it's only Stan, but next time it could be somebody appealing or charming or at least reasonably good looking. No offense, Stan. I'm taken. Dorothy, could we talk for a minute? Of course, for a minute. Come on. You bring your wife with you, or did you make her stay home and clean out her toy box? <laughs> Ma, don't you remember? I told you, Stan and Chrissy got a divorce. I thought you said Stan and Chrissy got a horse. Yeah. I'm 80, you gotta enunciate. Don't get me wrong. Horse, divorce, I could care less. <laughs> I just hate being left with egg on my face. <laughs> All right, Stan, what's wrong? Mm -mm. What makes you think there's something wrong? Oh, please, Stan, we were married for 38 years. You can disguise your bald head, but you can't hide your emotions. <laughs> now, what's wrong? I lost it, Dorothy. Jeez. You never had it, Stanley. <laughs> Girls, don't wait until you see the little number I picked up at the museum bank. <laughs> I don't believe it. Hey, 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 I am not taking mine back. I am not taking mine back. <laughs> the mother, yeah. Dorothy, this is crazy. Since when do you care how you look? I think it started when I came down from the bell tower and had my hump fixed. Buddy's going back to Boston on Saturday. This dress looks sensational Jeez. on me. People expect to see me in a sensational dress. Well, what do they expect to see me in? A yarmulke and a hefty bag? <laughs> Okay, girls, which goes better, the silver chain or the purse? Mm -hmm. The chain. <laughs> Amateur's mistake. Can't you see that the chain uh. accentuates the many folds of that turkey-like neck? <laughs> <laughs> that may be, but the pearls draw attention to the non-existent mm. bosom. No. <laughs> Yes, but the chain leads the eye even lower to that huge spare tire. Oh, no. Jutting out over those square, manly hips. Why don't I just wear a sign that no, says too ugly they to live? Didn't. <laughs> Jeez. Fine, but what are you going to hang it from, the chain or the pearl? <laughs> exactly. Well, neither. I'm going to spray paint it on my hump. <laughs> How do I look? Mm -mm. Great, Dorothy. You going out with Eddie again? Yes. Oh, by the way, I'll let you borrow your gold earrings, if that's okay. Oh, it's fine, but I do think I should caution you. They were meant for petite eels. <laughs> They'll just have to do until Disney unveils their Dumbo line. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness, look what I found. Double fudge cookies. I thought we agreed not to keep cookies in the house. Right, after this last box. You're not going to eat them, are you? Oh, no, Rose. We're going to go to some dumb country and try to use them as money. <laughs> morning, everybody. Rose, honey, I hope you don't mind. I borrowed your golf glove. I have a date to play this morning. With a man? Uh, no, Blanche. With a Venus flytrap. <laughs> no. 
Of course, with a man. Mm. Is it Raymond again? As a matter of fact, yes. Raymond? Mm -hmm. Isn't he the guy you picked up at the grocery store? I did not pick him up. He asked me if I could mm. recommend a good coffee. And then I threw myself underneath his shopping cart. <laughs> I think he sounds really nice. He is, he is. We've had a wonderful time together mm -hmm. these past few weeks. You know, girls, I really like him. And I think he likes me. Just don't ruin it and sleep with him. <laughs> of course not, Ma. I only do that with men I plan to scar psychologically. I am the smartest woman in the whole world. And mm. I am the pygmy queen. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Blanche, what would you say if I got a permit that would let you have as many people stay here as you want? No. <laughs> I'm telling you, the Golden Girls was something else. I'm not going to lie. The way how they roast each other on that show. Man, it keep you laughing. Not going to lie. I always enjoy a Golden Girl moment. Guys, remember to like, to comment, to subscribe. And i catch you in my next reaction. Bye.